All right, so today I wanna to talk about something that's a little bit more hard to hear, okay? So when you are in chronic pain, you have, uh, you know, you have chronic illness, some kind of a condition that is with you all the time and has been with you, right? And you don't want it and you try to push it away and you try everything you can to heal. Step back for a minute, take a step back and ask yourself, are you actually trying to heal yourself? Are you really trying to heal yourself? Or are you protecting your condition? Are you protecting your pain? Are you protecting your symptoms? Are you protecting your reason for having it? Are you protecting, you know, the illness? Are you protecting it? And the reason I ask this is because part of us subconsciously are always, you know, we're holding on to the pain because it is doing us a service. It is protecting us. It is keeping us safe. It's keeping us small. It's allowing us to get out of certain activities, to get out of certain situations that are painful, stressful. Um, it's allowing us to try to keep small, keep our life small. And even though we say, but all I want, like all I want, I would do everything in the world, all I want is to be healed. Really, really would you? Because if I could wave a magic wand right now, you're healed. Would you, what would you do? Would you go back to work? Would you get in your car and drive wherever you want? Would you take a vacation? Would you, um, you know, build that new house? Would you move? Would you uh, have a huge family gathering? Would you, you know, be social and go out with all your friends? And you might say on one level, yes, yes, that's exactly what I want. I would do all those things. But when it really comes down to it, would you? And the question I ask is, the reason I ask this is because when your symptoms fluctuate, like up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, sometimes we have a better day, a worse day, a better day, a worse day. And my question to you is on those better days, or maybe a string of better days in a row, you're not telling yourself, okay, well, I'm gonna go get a job now, I'm gonna get better, I'm gonna uh, plan this family vacay, I'm going to host a big party, I'm gonna call my friends and um, get together with them in a couple of weeks, and we're gonna go out to this thing. No, because your one foot is saying, I feel better today, and the other foot is saying, and when's it gonna return? When's it gonna return? How am I gonna be tomorrow? I can't make plans. And you're almost protecting yourself from having to go out and from having to do these things because you know it's coming. And, okay, so, there is um, the TMS model out there that is really helpful and it says, okay, if you have a sore back or you have a bad back or you have a structural problem, you need to face it and tell yourself um, that it is not structural, it's in your mind, and so you need to resume all physical activities, right? That's sort of the basis of TMS is like, resume your physical activities and, and uh, don't be afraid of it. Okay, so I just wanna talk about that a little, but I wanna talk about something a little bit more. It's like, have you, have you resumed all physical activities? And you may not have a bad back, you may have an illness, you may have pain, you may have suffering, you may have headaches, you may have a disease, you may have something. But my question is, Maybe you have resumed physical activity or maybe you feel like you can do a little, but I'm not gonna do that because I'm not gonna waste my energy or you know, if you have chronic fatigue or whatever it is. But my question for you is, have you resumed all natural physical activity? So that's a good starting point. Um, you know, have you gone back to all the things that you would want to do if you were completely healthy? Maybe you're doing some, but you're sheltering yourself, you're protecting your pain a little bit, you're protecting yourself from, from actually having to, to just be brave, be courageous, and do it all, right? Maybe you're just walking right now, or maybe you just don't feel like you could run, or you, 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 you're not sure about that yoga class because it could hurt you, or you definitely could never do CrossFit, or you'd never do anything like that. And my question to you is, you have to psychologically say, I wanna be better, therefore I am going to choose to resume all physical activities, all. Everything that I would wanna do at my age, for my level, if I was healed, and just decide that I'm gonna do this because 
I know it's very hard. It's so easy to use our pain as an excuse because it's easy to hide behind and say, but I'm in too much pain to do it. I can't do it. I'm too much suffering. I have this problem. I can't do it. Do you want to be the person who can't or do you want to be the person who can, who overcame? Then you're going to have to start to overcome. You're going to have to start to push yourself. You're going to have to start to do the things that you can't do and don't want to do. That's how success stories are made. It's like if you sit and wait till you're better to do all these things, you're never going to get better. You have to push through it. You have to say, all right, I have this, but I'm. this is who I want to be. This is the physical activity that I want to live at. And so therefore, I'm going to do it anyway because I believe that I can. I want to overcome. I want to be that person and I'm going to start living how I want to be. Okay. But that's only one area, physical, and I think it really gets lost. Um, you know, I think we have to resume more than just our physical activities. And this is where it gets scary, right? We have to resume all normal activities, meaning all normal social activities, okay? Now let's take social for a minute. Are you hiding behind your illness, your pain, your suffering, your condition, and, but I don't feel like it, I don't want to, it's not enjoyable, blah, 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 blah. Or do you say, I'm gonna do it anyway. This is how I see myself when I'm healthy, so I'm going to live forward. I'm gonna live through it. I'm going to go through the uncomfortableness and the suffering and the pain so that I can get to the other side where I wanna be, because this is you, not socializing with anybody, and this is where you wanna be. You know, lots of friends, having fun, um, able to do whatever you want, going places, traveling, um, having lots of friends, right? So you're gonna to have to build a bridge and you're gonna to have to start walking over it. So you need to resume all normal social activities. And that is so hard. You need to resume all normal emotional activities, okay? So emotionally speaking, your relationships, things, you know, maybe you don't make love to your husband anymore. Maybe you limit your play with your children. Maybe you limit uh, having a good friend or bonding with somebody or you're hurt or maybe you limit, you know, you know, growing close with somebody or sharing a moment or whatever it is, but you need to resume all normal emotional activities. This is where you are. You need the bridge and you need to be brave enough even with the symptoms to cross the bridge in order to live through because this is where you want to be. And if you always want to be here, you'll always be here if you never move from here. So you have to move, you have to move in spite of the symptoms, in spite of the pain, in spite of the suffering, in spite of the fear, right? You have to move anyway, because this is where you wanna be and you can only get there when you get there. And if you're here with all the pain or you can be here with all the pain, it's still the same, but now you're living a full life. And when you live a full life and when the pain is not everything in your world and when Everything else in your world is big, big, bigger. You have friends, you have social life, you have all your physical activities. You almost start to make the pain not important, right? So the pain doesn't go away first and then we get to do all this. It's like we have to bridge it, we have to walk over it. We have to be brave enough, be courageous to face the fear, the discomfort, the, the hurt, the shame, the guilt, all the feelings of inadequacy and judgment, right? And go there anyway. The next thing is you have to resume all intellectual activities, right? Do the things that you want to do. Have you said, oh, you know, you know, maybe you have a, a brain condition or headaches or this or that. So I'm not, I can't go back to school. I can't take a course. I can't, I can't work. I can't, um, hold a job. I can't, do this, I can't do that, I can't watch these movies, I can't read these books, I, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. So you have to be willing to say, okay, this is where I am, it's painful and I hate it and I don't wanna be here, but it's even more uncomfortable to start doing these intellectual things. You have to expand intellectually and live where you wanna be, not where you are now. Start having conversations about things other than your pain. Start having interests other than your pain, other than your suffering, other than all this, right? It's very hard. It takes bravery, it takes courage, it takes facing all of our fears and our holdups and our inadequacies and our failures and our feelings of self-loathing and self-hate and self, just, you know, it takes, it takes facing 
ourselves, our emotional selves, all the feelings that are going to arise in us when we push through, you know, push through something that we want, don't want to, and that's why this pain is protecting us. One more thing, are you, you know, have you resumed all normal spiritual activities? Maybe you're afraid to be spiritual. Maybe you had, maybe you're afraid to think about the afterlife or connect to a higher being, or maybe you feel totally abandoned by the universe, God, source, spirit, whatever, and you're not cultivating a spiritual life that you want to live, right? So we have to, we, in order to stop being stuck, we actually have to move. If a car is stuck in the mud, we actually have to move it. And sometimes we have to literally get a tow truck and pull it out, but it will stay there forever if we don't move it, right? So we have to move, we have to force ourselves in spite of the feelings, in spite of the emotions that come up, in spite of the pain, in spite of the suffering, in spite of the judgment and the criticism and the watchful eyes and the inadequacies with ourselves, and all the, the fear, the panic, the anger, the rage, this, just everything that we have inside of us, you know, that keeps us resistant to moving, even though we hate being here, it's even more unknown and could be even more painful to take this and put it out here in front of everyone. So not only do you have to resume physical activities, but you have to resume, you have to resume physical activities, emotional activities, work activities, friend activities, right? intellectual activities, spiritual activities, and if you don't have any to resume, you need to build them. You need to, you don't maybe wanna go back to what you were doing before, but you have to create something new, something better, something that you see for your future. Like if I was healed, I would do this. I would be this great, start moving towards it now. And this can be very, 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 I can't say enough fairies here, difficult to do because it's hard to do things while you're sick, while you're suffering, while you're in discomfort, while you're feeling overwhelmed and it's easier to stay small, but you will never heal small. You can only heal when you're big. You can only heal when you tr learn to trust yourself and your body and your emotions and your feelings and your abilities and build confidence and build strength and build faith in yourself and build the bridge to where you are going and start now. So so the more you participate in all activities, all activities, big, small, on every level of your life, then without restraints or limitations or excuses or only so far and not far enough, right? The more you really stop limiting yourself and start living the way you want to live, the faster you're going to heal, the faster you're going to get there. The more resistances and walls you put up, the more, you know, the more excuses you make, the more you think that you're incapable of doing all these things, the slower you're going to heal. So this is a big one. It's tough to hear and it's tougher to do, but you have to commit to healing and committing to healing is not just saying you want it and praying and thinking about it and and staying small and staying in your house and doing all these healing protocols and really really wanting it and feeling sorry for yourself but it is being brave and courageous and standing up and going out and say i will heal i'm going to heal this will not stop me this is not going to stop me this is not going to hold me back this is not going to limit my life this is not going to keep me where i am i'm not going to be stuck i will heal i'm going to heal and then you got to take action and say that's it i decide to heal and deciding to heal means deciding to move forward it means deciding to move forward spiritually, intellectually, physically, emotionally, socially, all the ways of your life. It, it means moving forward and facing those fears every single day. It's big, it's hard, it's, it is tough and it's something I struggle with every day, right? Those walls come up, the resistances, the limitations, the 
the feeling disheartened and hopeless and helpless and all those terrible feelings, right? We have to break through that, right? And we have to create what we want on our own. So I hope this helped. I hope that you take this the right way. I hope that you don't think that I'm saying that you're making yourself sick if you aren't able to do these things, but you gotta start somewhere and you have to build the bridge or you're always gonna be stuck, right? If this is where you are and this is not where you want to be, the only thing you can do is move. And you don't want to move backwards, you want to move forwards. So you're going to have to make a commitment to yourself to move forward at whatever pace you can muster, at whatever courage that you can build and whatever you can allow and integrate and feel and just allow yourself to do, please do it the more, the faster, the stronger, the the more you disassemble those walls and knock them down, the faster you will come out of it. So, or at least you won't be where you are. So face your fears, live life, commit, and take action.